to the web show and an awesome story that I found down in Melbourne while filming Carnage for Last Man Standing 2, and that is of Tony Torcasio. There he is with Michael Chavello. Had not fought professionally in 16 years, and uh, when you check out his body here at the weigh-in, keeping himself in unbelievable shape. So an inspiring story, and it was great to meet Tony and ask a little bit about his story for the web show. Here he is. Okay, it's uh, something I want to do. Um, I'm from 46 years of age. Last time I fought was 16 years ago. Um, Basically, start off as a bit of a joke between Tarek Solak and myself. We're good, we're good friends. And um, he, I, remember, I remember the conversation. He called me a few days later. and said, "Tony, are we on, mate? Can we can we put you on June the 9th? I'd love to, I'd love to have you on my show. You know." And um, my answer was, "Well, if I don't do it now, I never will. <laughs> so let's do it. You know." But one problem, I've got to get, I've got to get my my trainer Paul's um, approval. You know. So um, so he said, "Right, I'll live with you, mate." Anyway, got back and. I've been blessed. Paul, Paul's approved the fight and supported me throughout the whole thing, and, and his guidance has all been there. So, yeah, all good. Mate, well, the show that I do online is all about stories. So, where did it start off with you fighting? I mean, what year was it? And uh, were you a young guy or what? My very first fight was back in 1983. Um, I went on to win about half a dozen amateur fights before I turned professional. I won an Australian professional middleweight title in 1989. Um, I fought for Australian titles in three different weight classes, from welt super welterweight all the way to super middle. Yep. And my biggest fight was I, I challenged Steve Vick um, for the. Well, he became a future world champion not long after, a couple of fights later. But at the time, he was the Commonwealth champion, and um, everything seemed to, everything seemed to be going well. Then I was KO'd in round five. He went on to bigger and better things, and uh, that's the way it went. I, I had three more fights after that after that loss. After that KO loss, Steve, you're listening, <laughs> and um, all wins, and I decided to retire. So, yeah, I'm I'm part owner of a very successful um, uh, nutrition supplement company called Max's, and we've been going around for we've been going for 20 years now. I've been in the company for 18 years, and I've been in the sports health and fitness industry for the last 25 years. So, yeah. Mate, not many stories do you get when people get out of the ring for three or four years, sometimes five, it's like a long time now, no one's really stepping back after a decade, it's quite an amazing story, you're pretty proud of yourself for what's about to happen? Yes I am, yeah, no, it's, um, they say it has, it's the longest break it's someone's ever taken, for. we wouldn't see a footballer coming back after 16 years, no, no, no. Um, one thing I've done, I've always kept, I maintain a, a decent level of fitness, um, one thing I, uh, when I stopped fighting back in 1994 I actually stopped sparring altogether. So when I've, it's, this, this will be exactly 11 weeks today, or tomorrow, it'll be 11 weeks today that I actually committed to this fight. That's when you know, we, we started sparring once again. And I'll be, told, I'll be honest, I don't think I've won a single round in sparring. My sparring partners have had the better of me. And um, that's because they, they, they care for me and, and, and it's all real, everything's real. But what do you expect, I haven't sparred for so long? And um, I'm just proud to have, be part of a great team at Paul Fifield's gym, at the Team Fifield gym. Great bunch of guys. Everyone's been been fantastic, encouraging me to get through this. And I always said this is going to be the hardest part was the training. I've done the training. I'm ready. I can go hard from round one. I know I will be the one finishing stronger. I believe the first couple of rounds might be a bit ugly because I'll drop. The, I'm, I'm expecting the nerves to kick in a bit, but that's just expected. But I'll be. I'm. Sure, I'm very confident. I will be the the stronger finishing from round three onwards I'll be the, I'll be the dominating force every round I'll win every round if I don't stop him if I ain't stop him yeah. inspiring story mate uh, do you, what advice do you have for someone out there in chasing dreams obviously uh, this is a great decision for you it's a lot of commitment but what advice do you have for someone out there that uh, sets a dream and puts it in motion mm. well, well you're as young as you want to be I believe and um, like I said I'm 46 can I do this can I continue to fight of course I can if I want but do I want to that's something else you know um, everybody should, should try to chase their dreams. I, I believe in setting goals in my in my business. I'm the sales manager for the company, so I'm always setting targets, sales targets all the time, and, and I'm, I get great satisfaction of little goals. You know, this is a personal goal I want to do. Um, win, lose, or draw, I've, I think I've I've succeeded. The fact that I've I've made it. I'm fighting a guy half my age, and one day our kids are gonna, our kids at home are going to learn about this because it's all it's all hush hush at home. They're a bit too young to understand. Um, why these daddies fighting at the moment? So um, yeah, when they get a bit older, we look forward to explaining. Yeah, dad, dad used to fight many years ago. Was a, was a champion and came back after 16 years and and beat up some young <laughs> guy half his age. <laughs> Good on you, mate. All the best on Wednesday night. Thank you very much. Yes, there he is, an absolute inspiration for anyone with a dream. And here he is on the night to the Rocky Tunes.
this was it, the moment of truth and proof that if you believe in a dream and work hard, then anything is possible and rock on to Tony. Good stuff. <laughs> Thank you.